Hi everybody, this is yet another video about how to use R2Lab, the reproducible research laboratory that is part of the Fit Future Internet Testing Facility over here in France. Our study today will be about how to compare two wireless routing protocols, OLSR and Batman. For this purpose, we will be using NIPING, which is our orchestration experimental tool, and of course, we will be leveraging R2Lab. But before we go into the details of the experiments, let's take a look at the testbed itself. The testbed is accessible through a website called r2lab.inria.fr, where you can see, for example, a virtual tour of the testbed with its 37 nodes fixed on the ceiling. You could also have details on the different kind of software-defined radio devices that are available on each individual node. So, for example, this particular node features a Lime SDR device. Some others have Etus um, devices, uh, FPGA-based devices uh, are available. On the website, you will also find lots of other useful resources. The tutorial pages will give you lots of details on how to create your own experiment, starting from signing up, using the NIPA-NG tool, including uh, running open air based experiments and similar. But the most useful page definitely is the last one, where we will find on a single page the status of the reservation, the status of the different nodes, which are maintained live, and show you the operating systems that each node is currently running. So at this particular point, I have two nodes which are down. I cannot use them. They are unavailable. And all the other nodes are turned off. All right, now that we know a little more about R2Lab, let's go back to our experiment. Again, our objective is to provide objective means to do comparisons between two routing protocols. So the way we've done that has been to provide two things, essentially. One NIPING script that allows to make reproducible data collection, and a, a Jupyter notebook that allows us to make uh, visualization and exploitation of the results. So in this respect, our contribution is at least as much methodological as it is scientific. So the logic of the experiment is pretty straightforward. We want to select a set of nodes that are going to act as routing nodes. And then with this fixed set of nodes, we want to, to create a combination of environment measurements, whether it is running OLSR or Batman, whether it is running with a low level of, of interference or with a high level of interference. And to this end, we want to select one particular node. Here it's going to be node number five that acts as a scrambler node. For each of these combinations of the environment, we are going to measure all pair pings. And for each of these pings, we are going to measure runtime trip, packet delivery ratio, routing state of the underlying routing protocol. The experiment script is written in Python and it uses a toolset that we've called NIPING. NIPING is a very thin layer on top of AsyncIO, which is Python's library for writing single-threaded IO demanding asynchronous software. And NIPING allows us to do two things. First, is to be able to express an experiment as a set of jobs that have dependencies between them in a scheme like this. And the second one is to provide a framework to define such jobs on top of SSH with optimal sharing of SSH connections, in particular for the case of double hop connections, like we basically need all the time since we are, all our nodes can only be connected through the gateway. So on this figure, you would have a summary of what is going on in the particular case of this experiment running with three nodes. The notebook is a step-by-step -step runnable guide about how to reproduce the experiment. For convenience, the repository comes with a data set that was collected during our own runs, so we can visualize that right away. So the visualization allows us to compare side-by-side -side measurement made by both protocols, as well as routing schemes produced by the two protocols. 
the notebook also comes with the code that lets us perform data collection. So you would be in a position to reproduce the experiment with a different set of nodes or different set of settings. And this is what we're going to see right away. All right, so now that we've seen how to visualize data, it's time for us to see how we can actually do our own data collection. So for this purpose, the Git repository comes with a script called runs.py, which comes with uh, quite a few options. And let's see briefly what you can do. We can select whether we're going to run both protocols or just OLSR or just Batman. We can select any number of interference levels from no interference to very severe interference. We can select many different things, including the set of nodes that, that are going to be used as a substrate. So let us see very briefly how we could do this right now. I do runs.py. I have to specify the name of the slice that currently holds the reservation because I'm going to use this to enter the uh, gateway through SSH. So I have to provide proper credentials. I am going to say that I want to load images on the node. I can select the name of a directory where the data is going to be stored and so that I could accumulatively run several times and produce a consolidated set of data. Then I'm going to say that I want to run all protocols. I want to run all interference levels. And then I'm going to, to select my own set of nodes. And the reason for that is that the default set of nodes contains both 4 and 15, which unfortunately turned out to be down today. So let me give another set of nodes. I'm going to, to put these nodes that I've selected beforehand. E minus N 37. And that's it. So this script will do everything that needs to be done. It's going to turn off everything that's not being used by the, the scenario, including the phones. Then it's going to load images on the right nodes. And once this is done, it will run all the pings between all the pairs of nodes. In this scenario, I have selected node number five as being the scrambler. So this one is going to receive a specific image with a GNU radio software for performing interference and, and noise. This is something that's going to take a very long while and I'm not going to wait until this is finished, but just to give you a hint, of how the testbed behaves when you write this sort of SSH scripts. Uh, we take advantage of having one single SSH connection to every node, including to the, to the gateway. There's only one single SSH connection alive right now. And it's a single threaded application that is multiplexing everything on one single connection to the gateway. And uh, this approach lets us have something which is very efficient in terms of there's no overhead in making sure that the different tasks are not, you know, overriding one another. There's no overhead due to the fact that we would create many SSH connections. It's purely optimal in that sense. And so the whole data collection with this particular setup is likely to take probably in, the, I don't know, four hours probably. So I'm not going to go much further than that. But just keep in mind that once the script is finished, I will be able to use reproducing as a name that I could feed into the notebook and then run the same exact same set of visualization tools that we've seen in the notebook. And uh, so this is the end of this presentation. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you next time.